This is the original sample. And this is some of the song. So the first idea I had was this. I used this little sound here. I just tweaked it so that it plays an octave lower. Just like a kick. I added an OTT so that it increases the volume of everything. And then I used this Valhalla delay. It has this stereo effect. Then you have like a kick. I just put the whole sample into simpler. I just took a little part. I added a pitch envelope. Added this reverb, drum bus, uh, which is really great to make the kick like with more boomy. Like this is more like an 808 or something like that. And maybe what it sells better, I think it's the compressor. Then you have this kind of clock thing. If you use Beats algorithm and then you move this uh, to 16, you just let a little bit of uh, the amount of the sound to pass. I did that with the other lo-fi song. And I used a lot of these little things for the drums and I think it sounds great. It gives it a lot of movement. This is more like the original sound. And then pitch up. And then you just let it pass a little bit of the sound every 16th note. And then you had these birds of saturation. This happens because you move these on the skin and then there's just some noises that it creates. That is this thing. The original sound. And it goes well with the drums, so it fills some gaps. Then I have this bass that sounds really great. This time is super tiny area of the sample. This is something that I saw also on Anders Huang's video. This is a classic thing that you can do with samples. It keeps looping on a very, very short area, so then you can create notes out of it. Yeah, it sounds great. And I used these tuners so that I could make sure that I was hitting the right notes. And I added this warm tube effect. With this, it sounds more analog than before. I also side chained it with the kick and I removed a lot of frequencies from the high end. So just keeping the low end. Then I did the same thing with the, getting a very, very small area of the sample. Also used the tuner so that I could see that I was hitting the right notes. This is a new effect from Ableton Live 11 and it sounds very very similarly to the Valhalla uh, reverb so it's great that people can have these without having to buy Valhalla but I still recommend Valhalla. It's, they're, they're really really great. Yeah this, it, this gives it more space and then I add a compressor and then what I did is I did a second one this is very similar, but it has a delay. What I did is I resampled that. I was looking for frequencies that were like uh, too annoying because I wanted something on the background only, and I removed them. Because it has a very, very long tail with the reverb, I resampled that into a one track and I reversed it. And then that's a great way to have like, a, like something like this that starts the song. And this is maybe the most complicated one of all. The baby is in a place where she can hear sounds from the outside, but everything is so blurry and difficult to understand, I guess. It just keeps going through the sample and trying to grab different areas. And it has this gate that, that keeps playing all around. It's great to make textures like this. And I put an auto filter and then the LFO so that it keeps cutting those frequencies up and down. And I put some of the new reverb. I was looking also through this new reverb that has Ableton Live 11. I also tried to use the scales on Ableton Live 11. They have these now where you can lock everything into a key. It's a great tool because then you don't have to even think about the key or anything. And if you want to go outside the scale, you can just press these and go outside the scale or even go here and then you you still have all the notes but you have these gaps in between these ones are the the notes in the scale and then these are outside the scale and you can still write melodies like this 
So yeah, that's great. This is also like before, this is a very, very, very minute area of the sample. It doesn't have much than that, it just sounds great by itself already. Finally, I also have this. It sounds more like a, like a video game. It has some filters and everything, so because it had a lot of other frequ frequencies. Then it has a shimmer that I really love, so if you remove everything. Yeah, it sounds like a video game. And this is something new called Spectral Time. So it's a way to have a delay, but also it's not just echo and that's it. It has more than that. Yeah, I haven't played much with it, but I just like the sound. So everything together. And basically that's it. Most of the song is like this. Then you have one area where everything goes down. Yeah, it's like you're slowing down the song. Then I came with another idea and made this little song. And I think it still sounds good together, so I put it at the end. This is just the same samples and the same uh, sounds that I showed you until now. I put the sound in this VST. This is a very old VST that I downloaded. I can't even remember when. It slows down a lot, uh, the sounds, and I just wanted to see what it does. And the way I ended up using that, because as you can see, it's like very, very strange noise. I just put it here as a riser. And yeah, that's the song. I hope you like it. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave me a comment, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.